Hey guys, John from ARTV. It's time for a review of Mandatory Fun, the 14th studio album by Weird Al Yankovic, an artist that has been around and pretty prominent since the 1980s. He's never really lost his fan base and he's always kind of consistently been on the charts with his albums. I don't think Mandatory Fun will be an exception. It'll probably be another top 10 or else very close to top 10 album for Yankovic, especially with uh, songs like Tacky making waves on the interwebs. Uh, Rolling Stone kind of covered that and a couple of the other tracks on the record. There's been positive reviews out there, and I'm here to throw another one out there. Mandatory Fun is probably the most I've enjoyed a Weird Al album since Poodle Hat in 2003. Not to take away from Straight Outta Linwood or even Al Apocalypse, it's just that those albums felt a bit more uneven, whereas Mandatory Fun seems like a com pretty consistent flow of uh, pop satire, uh, pop culture references, and just taking them and making them in very clever ways, just stylistic parodies of like Crosby, Nash & Stills, Pixies, and Foo Fighters. My Own Eyes is just a dead-on impersonation of the Foo Fighters, and uh, he basically just sees Weird Al listing things that he has seen with his own eyes, like a stripper kissing a duck. Now you hear lines like that and you're thinking, John, this album feels so silly from what you're telling us so far. If you're not familiar with Weird Al, the guy is a total nerd, a total goofball, but you gotta love him just because of the fact that he comes off so earnest. And uh, songs like Tacky might feel a little bit odd to you considering Weird Al often is considered very tacky with his long curly hair and kind of his weird looks and obviously he tries to do that on purpose and him singing a song about being tacky, eh, possibly ironic, but at the same time it's a lot of fun considering I could not stay and the original version of the song, which is Happy by Pharrell Williams. Meh, I'll take it for what it is. I'm actually enjoying that a lot. Weird Al Yankovic has always made a name for himself by parodying other artists. He was apparently seen begging Iggy Azalea to parody her song Fancy, and it turns out TMZ, of course, just blew it out of the water. He wasn't really begging her. It was more of a polite request. And then, in turn, when she accepts that, we get Handy, a song about a handyman who will fix and repair anything you need, including your toilet, and I found myself laughing out loud the first time I heard the track. Some of these songs still have me rolling. I'm five listens in. I think the track Foil, which is a parody of Lord's Royals, is absolutely hilarious. It starts off as a man who just cannot finish all of his food, so he has to take it home and wrap it up and put it in aluminum foil, but then it kind of spirals into this whole alien conspiracy thing because of the whole putting aluminum foil on your head so that the aliens can't communicate with you. It's just a very hilarious track and a well-done parody. I think that Al has gotten a lot smarter on this record. Uh, I think that Word Crimes is a perfect example of that. And I found myself absolutely just, like, I fell out of my chair laughing so hard the first time I heard this track. It's Weird Al giving us a grammar lesson on a song that was originally intended and kind of considered to be degrading to women. Weird Al telling me when to use a possessive and when it's in the wrong case and all of these other things I actually feel like I actually came away educated from this song considering it's been a little while since I've been in school so props to you sir. First World Problems, the stylistic parody of the Pixies is pretty funny as well. I think that that one is another one that kind of touches on this generation and about how not only can they not spell or conjugate anything properly, but they also are just so attached to everything. Like uh, Weird Al says in the song, oh, he can't get Wi-Fi in his kitchen. It's all about first world problems, things that aren't really problems, but we consider them to be problems because we're so overprivileged. So I think it's awesome that Weird Al is poking fun at all of these subjects. Speaking of moments that I can't stop having fun with, the polka medley would definitely be up there on the list. It includes tracks like Best Song Ever, Wrecking Ball, Pumped Up Kicks, uh, Thrift Shop, where his vocals actually sound really, really catchy, and it's probably one that I'm going to be listening to for a very long time. And of course, Get Lucky closing things out with just a huge bang. That polka medley is just a success through and through. I always love those and have a ton of fun with them. There's a few duds on the record that I'm not really interested in. Sports Song would be one of those for the most part. It's a stylistic parody of like uh, college fight songs and that sort of thing. I mean, I, I get it. I'm not really a huge sports fan myself, so I kind of relate to it. It's just that 
I've never really been into the whole fight song thing and repeated listens just aren't aging well with me, I guess you could say. Another one that's not really sticking with me would be the track Mission Statement. I understand it, but at the same time, I'm not really laughing just because I haven't been there. It's supposed to be like written about like all of his time wasted in meetings over the years being in the music industry, but I've never been in the music industry, so I guess I'm not really fully in on the joke. Inactive is a radioactive by Imagine Dragons parody that kind of made me laugh at times, but at the same time, it kind of felt like a typical Weird Al song. He usually pulls from the kind of nerdy, geek, uh, lazy loser type card and uh, plays that up more so than usual here on this track. Inactive is all about a slob that sits around on the couch, plays video games, and drinks coke out of a red solo cup all day, but eh, I didn't really find myself laughing too much on this one. Jackson Park Express is the last track that I wanted to touch on. It's a monumental nine minute epic closer to this record. It's a stylistic parody of Cat Stevens, and while I haven't listened to a ton of his work, Still, this track can be, I think, be funny and clever to really anyone, and making something as simple as a bus ride home seem hilarious and funny, and just kind of like a guy falling in love with a stranger on a bus, and all of the odd and funny things that happened on the way back, including them falling out of love and the girl leaving the bus at the end of the song. I just really thoroughly enjoyed this track. I came around on it and I really wasn't enjoying it right off the bat, but still, I feel like it's a really solid and funny closer here on this record. I really hope that you guys check out and enjoy this record. I'm definitely having a lot of fun with it. Weird Al is definitely on his game on this one. It's his last album for his contract with RCA Records, who he's been with for a very long time now, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the future. Four out of five for me. Make sure to hit the like button on this video, subscribe to the channel, tell a friend about it. Uh, let me know your thoughts on Mandatory Fun in the comments section down below. You can also feel free to request future albums for me to review. I'm probably going to be reviewing Bleachers possibly within the next week, as well as a couple other ones I've got up my sleeve, but you'll just have to check back and see what I've got. Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, I will see you very soon right here on ARTV, Beyond the Reviews.